All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation nine to the power of x is equal to 36. So to solve this equation, I'm gonna first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of nine to the power of x is equal to log of 36. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. In this case, I have log 9 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front, so I get x times log 9 is equal to log 36. And from here, I can divide both sides by log 9. So these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 36 over log 9. Now, I'm gonna rewrite log 36 as log of nine times four. So I did this because I can use the property log of a times b is equal to log a plus log b. This case, this turns into log nine plus log four, and I have this over log nine. So now this is equal to log nine over log nine plus log four over log nine, which is equal to one plus log of two squared over log of three squared. And if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. In this case, I can move two to the front over here, two to the front over here, so I get x is equal to one plus two times log two over two times log three. From here, I can cancel out these two twos. So I get x equals one plus log two over log three. Now log two is equal to 0 0.3010 and log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771 so if i divide these two i get x equals 1 plus 0 0.6309 meaning x is equal to 1.6309 so this is my answer All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem two to the power of 22 minus one. So to solve this, what I'm first gonna do is rewrite this as two to the power of 11 times two minus one. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So two to the power of 11 times two is equal to two to the power of 11 to the power of two minus one. Now one is the same thing as one squared. So now I have two to the power of 11 to the power of two minus one squared. Now the reason I did that and we wrote one as one squared is because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So just to clarify, a is two to the power of 11 and b is one. So now I get two to the power of 11 plus one times two to the power of 11 minus one. Now, what is two to the power of 11? Well, two to the power of nine is 512. Two to the power of 10 is gonna be double of two to the power of nine, which is double of 512, which is 1024. So two to the power of 11 is double of 1024, which is 2048. So now, I get 2048 plus one 
times 2048 minus 1. Now 2048 plus 1 is 2049, and 2048 minus 1 is 2047. So I get 2049 times 2047. And now, a simpler way of multiplying this, rather than the usual method of this way, this way takes way too long. So a much easier route is to rewrite this as 2,000 plus 49 times 2,000 plus 47. Now from here, I can simply distribute. So I have 2,000 times 2,000, which is 2,000 squared plus 2,000 times 47, plus 49 times 2,000, plus 49 times 47. Now, 2,000 squared is going to be 4 million, plus 47 times 2,000 is 94,000, plus 49 times 2,000 is 98,000, and finally, 49 times 47 is 2,303. So now, by adding all these up, I get 4,000,000. One hundred and ninety-four thousand, because ninety-four thousand plus ninety-eight thousand is one hundred ninety. One thousand, one hundred ninety-four thousand, and then I have to add in the two thousand three hundred three. So now I get three o three at the end.